Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. K. Amala. In this video, we will talk about fermentation and what are the traditional fermented foods we are preparing in our India. Fermentation is an ancient technique of preserving food. The process is still using today to produce foods like wine, cheese, sour bread, yogurt and kombucha. The fermented foods are rich in beneficial probiotics and have been associated with a range of health benefits like better digestion to stronger immunity. The fermentation is a natural process through which microorganisms like yeast and bacteria can convert the crabs such as starch and sugar into alcohol or acids. These alcohol and acids act as a natural preservative. Fermentation also promote the growth of beneficial bacteria known as probiotics. Probiotics have been shown to improve our immunity as well as digestive and health. Some examples of Indian fermented foods. Dosa, Kurulu, Kapdi, Chilla, Dolka, Yogurt, Kamari Roti, Lassi, Kanji, Appam, Chash and Sinki. And the first fermented dish, appam. The appam otherwise called appam or appa. It is a type of thin pancake originating from South India and Sri Lanka. It is made with fermented rice batter and coconut milk. This appam are most frequently served for the breakfast or dinner after with a toppings such as egg. Kanji. Kanji is a traditional probiotic drink that is originated from North India. This kanji made by fermenting black carrot with water, mustard seeds and spices. Kanji is a vibrant, tangy and spicy drink that not only quenches thirst but also aids digestion. It is a rice water based dish traditionally prepared in Kerala. It is eaten with fish, soup or curry. Lassi Yogurt based beverage with a smoothie like consistency. This lassi originated in a Punjab region of the India subcontinent. Lassi is prepared by blending of yogurt, water and spices. Cumin and cardamom are the most common spices added to lassi. Yogurt locally called as dahi. It is very common in Nepal used in local festival. Yogurt is a very common to all Indian household. It is prepared by naturally fermenting cow or buffalo milk. It is very rich source of folic acid, riboflavin, vitamin B complex and lactic acid bacteria. This yogurt used in a daily diet and it is rich in probiotics or good bacteria thereby improving gut health. It further stop the growth of E. coli and other bad bacteria in the gut and strengthen our immunity. Kamiri Rotis. Kamiri Roti is a traditional Indian flat bread staple in the Mughal era. It is made using whole wheat flour, yeast and milk and is increasingly very sponge and soft. Rapti. Rapti is chas. Dolka. Dolka is a traditional fermented food. Dolka is a staple food item of Gujarat. This dolka prepared using Bengal gram and rice. This rice and Bengal gram flour is fermented with curd and then steamed to form a spongy cake like food. The process of fermentation increases the antioxidant property of making it easily digestible and suitable for diabetes as well. It helps in combating age related disease and diabetes. Shinki. Shinki is another traditional dish that is made with radish top roots. The radish top roots are filtered and curd and shredded and packed into a airtight barrier and kept for 20 to 30 days fermentation. After that, removed and dried under sunlight. The chopped roots and bamboo is covered with vegetation and mud for about a month after which they are sun dried. The shinki stayed very fresh for a year because of its high content of organic acid and low pH. In shinki, it is a naple preserved fermented vegetables similar to gandak. The gandak is prepared using leafy vegetables but shinki is prepared using radish tap roots. Enduri pita. Enduri pita, it is the traditional food in Odisha. 
It is prepared using black gram and barboiled rice. This black gram and barboiled rice, the two ingredients are ground well and make as a batter and kept for fermentation. The batter is then spread over a turmeric leaf and then steamed. The food is very easy to digest and can be eaten by people of any age group. Hawaija. Hawaija made from Kandak. Kandak is traditionally from Nepal. This dish is very common consumed in the northeastern states of Arunachal Pradesh, Assam and Meghalaya. This is made from using fermenting leafy veggies such as mustard leaves, cauliflower, greens, radish leaves and is used as a side dish for any food. The farmers allow the green leaves to wilt for a day or two and then ground them with a little water and squeeze them and finally pack them away in airtight container for a few days to ferment. When it is suitably fermented, the leaves are taken out and dried in the sun and used. The process makes the leaves rich in microorganisms as well as potassium, calcium and sodium. Cell roti. Cell roti it is a ring shaped fermented food. It is a traditional food in Sikkim and Darjeeling. The preparation done by locally available rice which is soaked overnight in a cold water. The soaked rice and then powder are mixed with sugar, wheat flour, butter and condiments such as cardamom, nutmeg and clove. This mixture and then kneaded and make into a dough and left for fermentation. Cell roti is similar in nutritional like idli and is a good source of digestible protein. Korisha. So Korisha it is a traditional Indian probiotic food. It is a delectable delight made from using fermented bamboo shoots. These bamboo shoots packed with beneficial bacteria. This bacteria it's promote gut health and aid digestion. This tangy and flavorful dish has been cherished for generations offering a unique culinary experience while providing essential probiotic benefits for all over well-being. Handia. Handia is a popular drink in Jharkhand and this handia made by using fermenting rice water with a traditional East culture called Launga. This drink is also known its rich and earthy flavor and served with a mud pot. Chakhoki. It is a Manipuri dessert. It made with using black rice which is fermented for several days before cooking. The fermentation process gives the rice a unique purple color and nutty flavor. Pita. So Pita is a type of rice cake that is very popular texture. Chicken. China powder. It is a popular and traditional dessert in Odisha. It is prepared by using fermenting cottage cheese, sugar and semolina. The dish is packed to perfection. Then Further giving it is uh, the crust is like a caramelized and center it will be like spongy and very soft. Tipla. Tipla is a very popular flat bread from Gujarat that is made using fermented dough, wheat flour and spices. The fermentation process give it is distinct so flour and soft texture. Pickles. Pickles are the integral parts of Indian cuisine and there are countless varieties available across all over the country. Most pickles are made by fermenting vegetables like mango, lemon, chilli and in brine solution. And also used amla and carrot. Moru curry. It is a traditional Kerala dish that you can prepare using fermenting yogurt, curry and spices. The fermentation process gives it a tangy flavor and a thick creamy texture. And finally, importance of fermented foods. Nutritional profile of fermented foods. These are many variables involved in the fermentation process. These include the microorganism at work, the nutritional contribution of the ingredient used and the environmental condition to which the food is exposed. What are the top health benefits of fermenting? First one, source of beneficial bacteria. 
Most fermented foods contribute bacteria that have the potential effects on probiotics. That means these bacteria may help restore the balance of bacteria in your gut and enhance the digestive health and remove any digestive issues. Easier to digest. Thanks to the bacteria breakdown, some of the natural sugars and starch, these fermented foods are easier for us to digest. For example, fermentation breaks down the lactose in milk to simple sugar, glucose and galactose also. That means, if you are lactose intolerant, products like coffee and cheese may be acceptable for you. And third one, improve the availability of nutrients. When we ferment certain foods, these ferment foods can help increase the health potential. These include both producing more vitamins and minerals and make them more available for our body to observe. This is because of natural compound like pectic acid found in legume, including soybean, may inhibit our absorption of nutrients like iron and zinc. This fermentation removes these anti-nutrients, making that nutritional content easier for us to access. Similar benefits, they have uh, seen with sore dough with improve in mineral availability, lower um, galaxemic responsible and the greater breakdown of protein all being cited. Fourth one, may improve the behavior change. Our understanding of the gut and how it impacts our mood and behavior is fast evolving. May support heart health. Consuming the fermented food as part of healthy, balanced diet appears to be associated with the lower risk of heart disease. The mechanism at play may include the reduction in blood pressure and the improve in cholesterol balance. May support immune function. So including the range of fermented food in your diet may support your immune function and reduce the risk of infection. And last one may support weight loss. Although more research is needed, more studies suggest that staying of beneficial bacteria may aid weight loss and reduce belly fat when we consuming the fermented foods. Thank you.